So, Donald Trump has uh, been trying to defend himself with this FBI raid stuff. And in doing so, he's kind of, like, developed, or people in his orbit, like the right-wing machine, has been developing all these weird conspiracies. Like, oh, he declassified the documents by thinking about it? Yeah, he just had a thought one time, maybe I'll declassify these, and then boom. Like, magic or whatever. It was. Right, okay, that doesn't happen. And also, a president cannot unilaterally uh, declassify things without approval processing. Um, anyway, a president can unilaterally propose that things get declassified and go through an approval process where it has to be on the books, right? He did not do that. So anyway, um, then there's like the FBI raid planted the evidence. And then there's like, there's all these other conspiracies. So Donald Trump was doing uh, a Fox News interview with uh, Sean Hannity, I believe. And uh, it gets a little weird. It gets a little fucking weird. Okay. Uh, let's watch this question. Let me boost this volume. Because I, I think this is the next logical question. Because the president of the United States, you, unlike, say, Hillary Clinton in her case, right. a president has the power to declassify. Correct. Okay. You had said on Truth Social a number of times you did de declassify. I did declassify, yes. Okay. W is there a process? What was your process to declassify? It doesn't have to be a process, as no. I understand it. it. You know, there's different... So, again, the key words, as I understand it, Right, again, all like you can unilaterally propose any document be declassified and people are likely to go along with it, but there's a process. You have to say, hey, this document, you know, fucking folder 17, page 13, section A, whatever, this one, you know, I think this one should be declassified. Then you send it to people, they look at it, they, you know, they're like, oh, all right, whatever, right? He didn't do that. I need you to understand, he did not do that. But it gets worse. Check this out. And people say different right. things. But as I understand, there doesn't have to be. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it. Donald Trump has telekinesis now, motherfucker. Now, I just want to say this. Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. He's a loser. He will always be a loser. But this motherfucker, even thinking about it, even thinking about it. let's play that again classified just by saying um, it's declassified even by thinking about it because you're sending it to mar-a-lago or to wherever you're sending it and there doesn't have to be a process there can be a process but there doesn't have to be you're the president you make that decision so when you send it it's declassified we i declassified everything now i declassified things and we were having a lot of problems with nara you know nara uh, is a radical left group of people running that thing. And when you send documents over there, I would say there's a very good chance that a lot of those documents will never be seen again. There's also a lot of speculation because of what they did, the severity of the FBI coming and raiding Mar-a-Lago. Were they looking for the Hillary Clinton emails that were deleted, but they are around someplace? So, okay, wait, I just got to pause it here. So the National Archives is a quote radical left organization my friend you were president for four years why didn't you de-radicalize the left out of the national archives but okay whatever so it's the national archives is a radical left organization they took the documents and and then they sold them they got rid of them what what who is more likely to mishandle classified information this guy or the United States National Records Administration? What? Like, <laughs> were they looking for the well, wait, spying you're not saying Trump's? you had it? Did, did no, no, they may be saying they uh, may have thought that it was in did. there. Okay. And a lot of people said the only thing that would give the kind of severity that they showed by actually coming in and raiding with many, many people is the Hillary Clinton deal, the Russia, Russia, Russia stuff, or, I mean, there are, there are a number of things, the spying on Trump's campaign. So they spied on my campaign. I love this, the spying on Trump's campaign. No, wait, they spied on my campaign. Like, like he's so used to like seeing, like the way his brain works, my, in my presumption, is that he's so used to seeing these like, like little snippets of talking points. They spied on Trump's campaign. Oh wait, oh, I'm Trump. I mean, they spied on my campaign. I'm Trump, right? Like, 
This motherfucker, man. Okay, so I'm going to diagnose Donald Trump and the orange man. I'm going to diagnose this guy with schizophrenia, dementia, and dumbass disease. Now, again, those are not things that typically correlate. You can be schizophrenic and not have the dumbass disease. In this case, the orange man has both. It's very severe. Uh, but again, this is just like a greatest hits. Like, he's just going out like and saying, okay, so Hillary's emails, Russia... Uh, they, uh, Russia and the Hillary, and then they raided, a lot of guys raided me, the FBI, but there were many FBI, and then, and then the National Archives and Records Administration is, uh, a left-wing, uh, administration or, uh, or, or agency, whatever it is, uh, you know, it's a left-wing, it's, uh, um, and, uh, I'm orange, and, uh, like, what? Like, this motherfucker, man, like, he is losing it, he is losing it, and, uh, you know. We'll see what happens, but, um, he's losing it. I don't know what to say.